Hello and welcome to the video. I'm Jimmy the mower and today we're looking at some OCO puncture-free off-road tyre sealant and how to use it. So, what do we use this tyre sealant for? Well, these are the caster tyres. These are off our zero turn mower. They go on the front and they're, uh, they're quite small, as you can see, and they're quite thin rubber. We go over lots of thorns, holly leaves, bits and pieces. They become a bit pitted and there's, you get little bits in there, sharp bits, and we get what we call sort of micro punctures. They're not enough for the tyre to go flat. They just give it a slow puncture. Now, if you've seen the videos before, you've seen me use a, a valve stem removal tool, which is one of these, and we take the valve out of there. That's always a good place to start when you've got a slow puncture. Just make sure it's not the valve. They're easy, inexpensive to repair. That's one of them there. They're tiny little things. Just there. They're, it's dead easy and just a quick way to start. If that doesn't work, you can put it in a bucket of water, look round and see if you've got any punctures in there. So what we'll do, we'll do that first straight away. I'll put the cap back on so you can see. We have got a bit of pressure in this tyre still, not a lot but if there's any leaks in there, we should be able to see it in a bucket of water. I'll fill this up and then we'll come back and see if we've got any bubbles anywhere. So we've got the bucket set up full of water, as you can see. I've got a wheel in there. This isn't the first one we've done today. We've done a few of them. The reason why I'm filming the video now though, is we've got a new tub of stuff here. And with a new tub of stuff, there's a couple of things that you have to do to make it work properly. So I thought I'd show you with that. We use up the old sealant and I'll show you with this one. So we've got the, the wheel in here anyway, just like you would if you've got a bike wheel. If you've got a, a bigger um, wheel, you either need a bigger tub or you just need some soapy water in a spray gun. And you can spray that on and move it around slowly and see if there's any uh, little perforations in there. Even if there aren't perforations in these mower tyres, we still put a bit of this stuff in there because if we do get some throughout the season, then obviously it will just seal them up as we're running along and then everything's always fine. The last thing you want is to be in a field somewhere and one of these come off the rim because it's so difficult, A, to get the mower back to where it needs to be on the trailer or the truck without sort of gouging tracks out in the field and B, it's just a complete pain and your mowing day's like sort of ruined. So I'll move it round then and I'll just see if I can see some bubbles, I can hear it squeaking. I don't know if it picks that up on the microphone or not, but we'll move round anyway. I can, I can hear them now and see them in there. Um, you probably won't be able to see them on camera, but I can see a few bubbles and stuff in there. So I'll take a photo of that, you'll be able to see. Well, there's at least two, two proper holes. So I'll take that wheel out of there, that's done. I'll put my bowl of water out of the way. It doesn't help. There's a slight split in the bottom of that bowl and it leaks everywhere, but it doesn't really matter. For what we're doing, it doesn't really matter at all. Right, back to the dust cap then. We take the dust cap off, put that over there so it's nice and safe. We release the pressure in the tyre. See, we've got a couple of holes in there, but they can't be that bad because the pressure's coming out. And once we've done that, we get the valve removal tool and we take that out. Now, if you don't have a valve removal tool, in the top of these bottles, we can lift this up, pull straight up. Oh, it's always a bit tricky to get out. We pull that out and there we have, I'll give it a clean off so you can see it properly. There you go, looks a bit better. You've got a valve removal tool in there. I don't recommend using these, they're not the greatest ones. Um, they've made a plastic, they are, you know, there's a, there's a bit of strength to them, but they're not the greatest. I, I always have one of these spare or one of the little four way ones if you prefer, so you can clean the threads out. So we'll use this one just for the, the purposes of the video. I'll put that on there and undo it. It's a lot easier with the one that I'll use. But that's out, so the valve stem's out. Now, we never put the same valve stem back in. I don't see the point. If you're changing something, they're a couple of pence. They really aren't anything at all. And if you've taken 
the, gone to the trouble of taking one out and there's no point in putting the same one back in. You put a new one in, knowing that you've got a good rubber seal on there and a clean thread. So we'll put a new one in after. Now, we've got that then. We've got the, the valve completely open. You can see into the tire and you want to put some of this in there. So all you do, or all you think you do, is you put that on there and away you go. However, that's incorrect. This is what I wanted to show you. This fits in the top here and it stops it going off. It keeps the air out and stops it going off. But when you push this in, this is widening the top of this pipe. So this pipe is designed to fit inside that valve there. But because we've had this in, it flares out and it just sits on the top. So we need to cut that off. I did have some scissors somewhere. Here they are. So we'll do it. Now, it's marked on the bottle. We've got like 1.2 litres in here or, or more or less. Wheelbarrow tyres and tyres about this size, we normally put in about 200 mil, which I'd probably say is about one of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So that's 100 mil on each one of those. So if we go from there to there, that's 100. And then down to there, that's 200 mil. Put 200 mil in a tyre this size, you'll never have any trouble. Bigger the tyre, the more fluid you need. There is a guide on the side there if you need to have a look, or you can go on their website or put their details in the description. So. We'll cut the top off then, so we've got something nice and flat to work with. But you've got to be aware that this is why we're doing a lot of tyres in one day. Because we're doing this, we'll do this tyre, we'll move on, we'll do another tyre, we'll do another tyre. If you only use half the bottle up, you're putting the stopper back in. Once the stopper's back in, it flares out the top, you need to cut some more tube off. So by the time you've done three or four different sessions, you're down and the tube's gone and it's no good. So really, you want to try and do as many in one day as you can and only open a new bottle if you've got a few to do or do them all. And then that way you won't be wasting your tube and end up with loads of fluid left in the bottom. Now, I've got, it's a bit wet in there. I'll try and give it a wipe out so you can see what I'm doing. Now, this fit over that valve, as you can see, fits over there. I don't know if you can see it going down the, uh, the tube. So we'll give it a squeeze in. And then as soon as you let go, it comes back up. We'll just have a look at that. Now, that's not even 100 mil, so we'll put some more in. You can squeeze it through. You can be quite brutal with it, squeeze it down. It doesn't really matter if you go over. You don't want to put in, what you don't want to do is not put in enough. Putting in a bit too much, it doesn't really matter with this. It goes on. So we're about halfway to where we need to be now. I'll just put the rest in. It's a slow process. You can't just tip the bottle up. You've got a great big tractor tire or something. You just sit there and uh, let the whole bottle drain into it, wouldn't you? This one, 200 mils more than enough. Right. So we've gone from the top mark there, which is 1200, down to there, down to there. So we've got 200 mil in that tire. As you can see, we've got a little bit of residue and a little bit of mess on there. We don't really want that residue and mess on there because it's no good for the valve stem and it's no good for the, uh, the dust cap either. So we'll clean that off. Clean that off out of there. And that's it. You can just blow down the center and that'll push the stuff down. If you can't blow and you can't get enough, what I sometimes do is I use the old valve stem and I'll push that in there and the old valve stem will clear it out. So put the old valve stem in, that'll screw that down and that'll get rid of all the gunk and all the stuff that's around on there. That's that one. Still a little bit in there. Still a little bit in there. You can always use the, if we've got one of these little multi-tools here, use the tap on there. And when you use that, spin that round and that will push it down. Let's bring that out and I'll just see how clean that is. Right, that's pretty clean and clear in there. Happy with that. I don't know if you, well, well, you can see that on camera, but that's uh, clean and clear. It's gone all the way through. The slime's in the tyre. 
So with the slime in the tyre, we can now take our new valve here, they're only tiny little things, put our new valve stem, put that into the centre, then we just use the valve stem tool and we tighten that up. Now when we've tightened it up, as much as we need to go, don't over tighten these, there's a good little seal on there. I use these ones, we changed it over recently um, and started using these ones with the red seals on, basically we can see that if there's any dirt or anything in there or anything's cracked, we can see dark lines in there. Normally with the, with the, with the old ones where they're black anyway, you couldn't really see if there was any dirt in there. So, because it was just all the same color, but with them being red, you can see the little black lines, which is always good. So that's back in there. Then all we have to do now is just get the little mini air compressor and we can blow it up. So we'll just turn the unit on and we'll set it to about we normally have these at about 15 psi. So I set it at 15 psi. And we put that on. And then we just fire it up. So there we go then. We've pumped it up to 15 psi as you can see on the little digital scale. Now we'll take that off. Put that over there out of the way. Then we can put the dust cap back on. And then that's that tyre filled with sealant. Now, if I wasn't doing a video, I'd put this back on the mower with the other, four with the other three tyres that we've done and we'd go and run it around. We'd just go and drive it up and down a little bit and see how we went on. But I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to try and roll it around on the bench a bit and get that slime moving around inside the tyre. Now, as it moves around inside the tyre, it's forced to the outside. So whichever side's at the bottom, it's always forced down to there and the air escaping pushes it into those little microscopic holes and as it's pushed into those holes it starts to seal and it forms a seal around the inside of the tyre and that little plug gets pushed up through. If you've got a larger puncher you can sometimes see a little bit of slime coming out the, the top but with these ones today they're just tiny little perforations you won't see anything at all. I'm just going to roll it around a little bit and then we'll pop it in the tub of water again and we'll see if we've got any leaks or see if we've, we can stop it. I'm not sure how well it will work with doing this because as I say if we put it on the mower we can drive round and it's moving a lot faster than I can move it on this bench and there's a lot more pressure sat down on it as well which really forces it out of the gaps. So we'll just have a quick go and see how that is. Right I'll pull the bucket back over and I'll pop that in. Now again, I know you can't see, but I'll try and get a few stills. And I'll be honest with you when I'm turning it round, if I do see any bubbles, I'll tell you. I'm not expecting to though, really, if it's worked well. We've used this stuff for a long time. It is pretty good. I thought I saw something then. No, there's not. It's just some bubbles coming off from general stuff on the tyre. So yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, I think I've I think I've gone all the way around. I'll just make sure again. Just turn it round slowly, and just turn it round slowly. There's no rushes. There, you just go round and see if there's any bubbles coming out from anywhere. You don't always get them bang on the tread either. Sometimes they're in the side wall or around. You know, if you've got a leaking rim, that's a different thing. This is won't really work for a leaking rim. You have to have it resealed professionally, or you can put it in a tube in there, whichever you prefer. Well, right, we have got a few little bubbles about here on the tyre. Right, I've got a few there. So if I push that bit to the bottom, and I'll roll it and put some pressure on it there, and then that should force some sealant through. See if that does any good. <laughs> now about that, sealed it straight away. Yeah, sealed it straight away. Right, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. I'm happy with that. Yeah, it's good stuff. It does work. We've used it a lot, and uh, we've obviously got a lot more mowers today. We're at the start of the season at the moment, but you can put this at any time. Uh, you'll normally find out if you've got a slow puncher as you're going through the season, you start topping up your uh, your tyre pressures every now and again. And then if you're getting towards winter or you're in the spring and you're cutting in frequently, you come to use your mower and they're down and soft already. So it's always advisable to put these in. We put them in brand new tyres most of the time. I was just doing this one today to show you how it's done.
So that's all that done then. So if you're just doing that one tire, which I advise against because you're pushing this back in here and flaring it out again, you can see it just sits in the top, but as you push it down to seal it, it'll flare it back out. Um, you can just put that in and it seal it. You can put something else over the top to seal it, but we've got loads of wheels and tires to do for the rest of the day. And I won't be doing them all on this bench because it's absolutely soaked as it is and the water's dripping off onto my trousers. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting and informative. There's a lot of information in there. I'll put the links in the description to this. You can always have a look on my website as well, jimmythemower.com. If you've got any comments or questions or queries, you can put it in the comments section below. Or if you've got anything nice to say, you can put that in there too. Thanks for watching. I'm Jimmy the Mower. I'll catch you on the next one.